Food banks during the pandemic became an important lifeline for families needing groceries. In honor of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, meet the man who felt the typical food bank was lacking, even humiliating. Glenn Corrado decided to create a new kind of food bank open to everyone. Onions, peppers, Brussels sprouts, lots of fresh produce, and name brands like Jadori. Free range, no GMO, all the great stuff, and right here, 10 pound log of drumsticks. Welcome to World Harvest, billed as the social supermarket. Glenn Corrado says he had divine inspiration to open this new kind of food bank. 2.30 in the morning, somebody spoke to me and I nudged my wife, I said, babe, I think God just spoke to me. I have to open a food bank. In 2007, World Harvest was born, but instead of handing out pre-filled boxes of food, anyone and everyone can come and fill up a shopping cart for a donation of $40, cash, debit, or EBT card. I am so excited about the garlic because it varies every week what's here. And uh, in the year and a half that I've been shopping here, I've never seen Fresh garlic. I have Christina Wong calls herself a food exactly. bank influencer, posting her haul on social media. Yet again, in over our heads. In over our freaking heads, folks. She's not on food stamps. She just likes a good deal. It's such a strange model because it's so generous and we're not used to generosity. <laughs> the generosity comes with Corrado's um, mission right to keep here. all of this from being tossed into the trash. We get pallets and pallets and stacks and stacks of this bread. Beautiful bread. The date is? May 18th, that's the May best 18th, buy. best buy. Net weight, 20 ounce. What's wrong with the bread? <laughs> I don't know, what's wrong with the bread? <laughs> it is underweight. Oh my God. So it comes down to conveyor and gets kicked out. World Harvest is chock full of donated goods, donations from stores you'd recognize or companies that need to get rid of their overstock. On this side of World Harvest, it's kind of a treasure hunt. You do have to buy these items, but at a deep discount price. Who knew there were such a things as cabbage crisps? And then look, box of Girl Scout cookies. Karada was born in Taiwan, raised in Hawaii. After a stint in the Air Force, he made California his home. He had no clue then that his life's purpose would involve feeding the hungry, and his dreams are even bigger than this three-story warehouse. Our next step is to own a whole block and have affordable housing, have all the amenities for, you know, uh, everybody in the community. Back to Christina, her shopping cart holds so much, she comes with friends to split the bounty. So we got milk. And, whoa, I see eggs coming. Eggs, eggs, two dozen eggs. World Harvest is located in the mid-city area of Los Angeles. By the way, you can also volunteer for four hours to qualify for a shopping cart. And one more thing, World Harvest doesn't just feed people. Glenn also donates about $20,000 worth of produce every month to the L.A. Zoo. And not the cast-offs, the same quality produce available to everyone.